Hey guys, in our last episode of Android Power User, we talked about how to flash ROMs using ROM Manager, which is by far the easiest way you can get. Or is it? There's another way that you can do it. It involves a PC, whether that's Linux, Windows, or Mac, and you can do it through Fast Boot. There are a few things you've got to have set up. We'll call those prerequisites, but the process isn't very difficult, and if you spend a lot of time on a desktop computer, it may actually be a little bit easier than flashing with ROM Manager. Just how easy is it? That's what we're going to talk about on today's episode of the Android Power User. So the first thing you're going to need to fast boot flash an image onto your device, of course, is a device. In this case, my Nexus 7. You're then going to want to reboot it into fast boot mode, and you can see I'm already there because that red text says fast boot mode. You're going to need to hook it up to your computer with a micro USB cable or whatever cable connects from your device to your computer. You're also going to need the Android SDK, which is what you can see right here in front of us. I've gone ahead and done this. Now we want to make sure that we can see the device. So how do we do that? Fast boot space devices, if I remember how to spell and you can see we've got a serial number, we're good to go, the device is being seen by the operating system, we can now talk to it. Now, you're probably not going to flash uh, a custom ROM like CyanogenMod this way, but you might flash a data image or a system image or whatnot. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and run a uh, directory here on everything that is uh, .img. And I do have a system IMG file. So let's go ahead and flash that. Before you do any of this, you'll want to make sure you've backed up anything that you aren't comfortable with, you know, losing. So do that very first of all, but I'm ready just to wipe this. So let's go ahead and do it. Now it should be, uh, should be noted right now. This isn't really going to wipe. It's just going to overwrite. So before you do this, you may want to wipe everything. In fact, I'm going to show you something here in just a minute that you'll like, but let's finish this. We're going to fast boot, flash, system, and we're going to flash the system.img. So the first part, you're calling fast boot, you're telling fast boot to flash something, particularly the system partition, and we're going to flash it with this file. We'll go ahead and hit enter. It sends that over, tells you how much it is, and puts it over on the device. Now, the, uh, the Nexus 7 at this point is just showing me the same thing that it's always shown me, uh, just that, uh, that fast boot screen. So there's really no status to be seen on it. That's going to take a minute, so let me show you what I was going to show you. And that is over here. This is the, uh, the image file, or the stock image file that comes for the Nagasaki, which is the Nexus 7 that I have. I've gone ahead and opened this up a little bit. Let me uh, navigate back here. So move up. I've got this uh, Nagasaki. I've gone ahead and unpacked it. And I've got this flash all, flash all sh, flash base dot sh, and then this compressed file. If we come over here and look inside this flash all, it's a really big, long, icky thing. But you can see it's going through defining some paths and it's erasing everything before it flash boots anything so uh just to let you know it's it's not flashing anything but until it erases it so i'm probably you know breaking my device but hey that's all kinds of fun i'd rather do it than have you do it so there we go now it said that it went ahead and uh, transferred over it took about one minute 56 seconds and that was okay Basically, it just transferred the file to the device, and now it is writing system. That's going to take probably another couple minutes, and then we can boot up. So at this point, I can reboot, and the easiest way to do that is fast boot, space, reboot, and I'm done. Now, I don't want to do this here because I've just borked my device by only flashing the system. I haven't flashed data or anything else, and I really don't want to leave it in this state. But that's how you would go through flashing an image file. I highly recommend that you use the pre-packaged stuff, this flash all, which will do everything for you, as long as you're getting your image from a reputable source. In this case, I downloaded it directly from Google, so we know it's good. And by Google, I mean, you know, the Android section, not the search engine. Okay, just to, to keep that in mind. So there you go. If you can, 
try and do all of this through a ROM manager like ROM manager, but if you need to get in and do it through Fastboot with a couple of things, a couple of notes, you can go ahead and do that. So teaching you how to boot and flash boot and flash all kinds of cool stuff with flash boot for the Android Guy Weekly and Pocket Now. I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.